Now, what we have to do, we have to initiate supply registration. So whenever we have to initiate any of the supply registration from the buyer perspective, so we have to click come here on this registration state. And here we can see we have the option to invite. I'm sorry, we have the one button here to invite. So if you want to invite any of the supplier, like you know, to perform the registration um, on the Aripa, so we can do it from here. But thing is that why basically we have to like you know that uh, why we have to like uh, send this invitation to any of the supplier and whatever the benefit that supplier will get or basically what will the benefit that buyer will get if he will send this invitation to supplier for the registration so that's something we'll talk like you know in detail level so just assume supplier like you know so ariba network is nothing ariba network is just like as the platform of the linkedin ariba network is nothing that is just a platform of the linkedin so whenever we have to connect like let's say for example we want to connect on the linkedin so what we'll do and let's say we are new for the linkedin as well so how basically we can connect on the linkedin i will go to the linkedin and i'll create my account that means i have to do some registration and once i'll create my account then i will be available on the linkedin platform right same process you also have to follow so once you will also create your account on the linkedin then you will be available and later we can connect to each other and we can do some chatting or messaging activity over the LinkedIn. So without rest, uh, without creating an account, can we connect over the LinkedIn? Of course, no. Right. So same way in the SAP Ariba as well. Now in the Ariba, we have the platform of the Ariba network. So from buyer perspective, we are available on the Ariba network because whenever we purchase this particular solution will get license of this Ariba network as well. So we are basically available over the Ariba network. But from supplier side, supplier are not, not available over the Ariba network. Right. So in that case, what will happen? So in that case, like, you know, we have to ask to our supplier, like since we are migrating from our legacy system to Ariba, please migrate from your side as well to continue our business. And for the for the migration or as part of the migration activity, you have to first create your account over the Ariba network. So that is why basically we have to send this registration activity or registration history from the buyer point of view. So how basically we have to send whatever the other information we have to take here. We'll talk about in detail level because here you may have lots of questions as well. That's something we'll discuss in that uh, tomorrow session. So that's it for today. And any question from anyone? many servers are there means uh, in uh, SAP uh, development quality production is there here only uh, I can only, only, two. only two in Ariba only two means quality and first we do test first we do in uh, test then we'll move to production right even Ariba is uh, providing the other system as well like if you want to take sandbox you can take sandbox as well or uh, if you want to take development you can take development as well but in most of the cases you may see you will have only like you know test side that is quality side and the personal side in very certain cases you may see sandbox and development the, pro okay. the process will be same moving tr like that no nothing no no tr options are not available in the ariba so in ariba configuration we cannot transport we have to do manual or we have to do the data import export activity more question the, that the vendor is there sir excel sheet we cannot uh, we can drag and uh, instead of uh, editing many vendors are there means the excel sheet we can connect browse and we can submit that option we can do it mm -hmm. that basically we can do yes all right any further question sorry i think just to uh, ask right so if let's say uh, i currently i already have that uh, vendor um uh i mean uh records right in sap so actually i can just do a uh cig uh over to the uh ariba slp right that the supplier we can do we have the two options one option you can uh, like a push as the part of like you know mass upload as well from your erp to uh, ariba or you can do the mass upload so you can prepare the file and that file also you can upload both the options are available 
based on your landscape, based on your uh, system architecture, you can use any of the options. Okay, but my, my question is that, I mean, moving forward, right, let's say Ariba will be that the the, the initial source for that the uh, supplier onboarding, I can still point to, I mean, I can still transfer my data from SAP to S4, right, to Ariba, then later, right, moving forward, then I change the direction, only allow Ariba to send to SAP. Is that? Yes, 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 that is possible. We can do. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you.